Hi there, this is Jennifer with Brome Fields and today is day 21 of our 21 days of cable knit stitches. So it's the last day and we're gonna go out with a bang. This is a 24 row repeat cable. It is called Double Diamonds uh, Cable Knit Stitch and it is absolutely beautiful. Now I'm using Lion Brand Thick and Quick Yarn with size 11 knitting needles. And I decided to pull out my, my cable needles today, or my circular needles, because with this yarn, it's just, this is the size of needles that I use, tried and true, because I've knit with this for years. Um, but it is a wide cable, so it's 24 stitches. So it's 24, um, a wide headband, not a wide cable. But a wide headband so I would recommend a smaller thinner yarn and smaller needles uh, to get you a narrower headband but I went with this because I really want you guys to see it in the video and I want you to see the stitch definition and this yarn just really it does all that so that's why I chose this yarn but I definitely recommend something a little thinner maybe a bulky or a, even a worsted weight all right, so I have already knitted our setup rows, which is rows one, two, and three of the setup part in the pattern. Um, and so we're ready for row one of the cable pattern. So it does have uh, twists in it. So I wanted to make sure those twists were in the first row whenever we seam our headband together. Uh, the cables at that first row don't look very good. So I wanna give it a little bit of space all right, so we are ready for row one of the cable pattern. So with the yarn in front, we're gonna slip one purl wise. We're gonna purl seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to T4BP. So we're gonna twist four back purl. So with the right hand needle in the front of our work, we're gonna slip two stitches onto our cable needle and hold it into the back of our work. And then we're going to knit these next two stitches off of our left hand needle. And then we're going to purl one, knit one from our cable needle. So we're gonna purl one, knit one. Now we're going to do another cable or a twist. So they're kind of back to back. So this one is a T4FP. So we're going to twist four front purl. So with our right hand needle in the back, we'll slip two stitches onto our cable needle, holding it into the front of our work. And then we're gonna knit one, purl one off the left hand needle. And then we're going to, oops, we're gonna bring that to the front there. Then we're gonna knit two stitches off of our cable needle. So the top two are our cables. So that's where we're starting our cables. Then we're gonna purl seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and with the yarn in front, slip one purl wise. And if you have puppies that you're gonna constantly be removing their hair from your work. So this is the front side of our work. Now I'm going to knit row two because they're all knit and purl stitches. And then I will come back with row three because I'll have another twist in it, uh, two twists in it. So I will be back with row three. All right, so now we are ready for row three. So we're going to continue this cable out and that cable out. So we are going to, with the yarn in front, slip one purl wise, purl five, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna twist four back because we have two purl stitches and two knit stitches. We wanna take these purl stitches to the left side of this cable and bring the cable to the right. So with the yarn in front, we're gonna slip two 
stitches off and hold them into your the back of your work. Knit two stitches off of your left hand needle and then purl because we want to continue with the purl stitches. So purl those two off of the cable needle. And then we're going to purl one, knit two, purl one, and then we're going to TF, T4F. So we're going to twist four front. So we're going to take these two stitches off, which is the cable, and hold them in the front of our work. Purl those two stitches. So they're going to keep being purl stitches. We're just moving them to the right side of the cable. And then we're going to knit the two stitches off of our cable needle. And purl five. One, two, three, four, five. With yarn in front, slip one purl wise. So that gives us a nice pretty stitch there. All right, so we're moving that cable out to the edges. So I am going to knit row four. And then we will come back with row five, which has two cables, two twists. So this is where we're going to do, make it a double diamond. So we're going to add another set of cables on here. So I will be back with row five. All right. So this is where we're at so far. And we're ready for row five, which has twists and cables or crosses. Um, four. So this one. It's a little bit more complicated, but still not hard. So with the yarn in the front, we're going to slip one purl wise and we're going to purl three stitches. One, two, three. And then we're going to twist four back. So we're going to take these two knit stitches and cross them with these two purl stitches. So with the right hand needle in the front, we're going to slip the two purl stitches onto our cable needle into the back of our work. We're going to knit two stitches off of our left hand needle and then we're going to purl the two stitches off of our cable needle. So they'll stay cable or stay purl stitches. And then we're going to purl two. And then we're going to do a C to B, which is cross two back. So it's just a total of two stitches. So this is where we're starting our second diamond. So uh, we're going to hold the right hand needle in the front. We're going to slip one stitch onto our cable needle, which is a purl stitch. And we're going to hold it into the back of our work. And we're going to knit that stitch off of our left hand needle. But we are also going to knit this back stitch. So that purl stitch is going to turn into a knit stitch. And then we're going to cable to front. So we had back to back, uh, or not cable, they're cross to front. So we had a cross to back and now we're going to do a cross to front. So with the right hand needle in the back of our work, we're going to slip one stitch, hold it in the front of our work, and then we're going to knit one stitch off of the left hand needle. So that purl stitch is turning into a knit stitch. And then we're going to knit one off of the cable needle. You don't have to use the cable needle. If you're more advanced, you don't have to use it. I just, for ease and uh, to help see the stitch come together, I just like to use the cable needle. So, we did cable two back to get cable two front. Now we're ready to purl two. And then we're going to table, hit table, twist four front. So we're going to take these two stitches and move it over here. So we're taking this cable and moving it over two more. And we're going to take two stitches off and hold it into the front of our work because we're going to twist it that way. And we're going to purl these two stitches off the cable needle, off the left hand needle. And then we're going to knit the two stitches off of the cable needle. And then we're going to purl three. One, two, three. And with the yarn in front, front slip one purl wise. So 
can't really see those two come together, but in the next twist, we will see them. They'll be more prominent. So I will knit row six, because it's all knit and purl stitches, and then I will be back for row seven, which has more twists and cable, or twists and crosses. Actually, no, they're not crosses, they are cables. So this will definitely bring it all together. We'll definitely be able to see more definition with this second uh, diamond. So I will be back with row seven. All right, so we are ready for row seven. And row seven has twists and cables. So the easy way to remember a twist is that it has knit and purl stitches and cable stitches only have knit stitches. So we are going to, with the yarn in front, slip one purl wise and purl one stitch. Then we're gonna move this cable over two more stitches. So with the yarn in front, we're gonna slip two. So this is a T4 back. Slip two stitches off to hold into the back of our work. Knit two, oh, and I split that stitch on the previous row. So we're gonna knit two and then purl two, because this is a twist. And then we're gonna purl two stitches. It's just gonna be kind of the gutter in between these two diamond stitches. And we're gonna cable four back. So these two purl stitches will become knit stitches. So we're gonna slip these two purl stitches off, hold them in the back of our work, knit two stitches off the left-hand needle, and then knit these two stitches off the cable needle. And then we're gonna cable for front. So we're gonna have two cables right next to each other. So these two purl stitches will become knit stitches. So we're gonna slip two off, hold them in the front of our work, knit two stitches off the left-hand needle. And then we're gonna knit two stitches off of our cable needle. Then we're gonna purl two stitches. So gutter in between the diamonds. And then we're gonna move this cable over two more. So we're gonna tw twist four front. So we're gonna slip two stitches off and hold them in the front of our work. Purl two stitches. Pull that out so we don't let, lose those last two stitches. And then we're gonna knit two stitches off the cable needle. Then we're in a purl one with yarn in front, slip one purl wise. So we're starting to see the second cable forming here, or say the second diamond, the double diamond. So I'm going to knit row eight, and then I'll be back with row nine. All right, so we are ready for row nine, and it's really starting to come together, but we still have quite a ways to go. So row nine also has cables and twists. So we're gonna keep moving this one out. So we are going to get a little bit of slack there. With the yarn in front, slip one purl wise, purl one, and we're gonna T four front. So we're going to slip these two stitches off now we're going to, instead of going to the right, now we're going to lean to the left. So we're going to purl, because this is a twist for front. So we're gonna purl these next two stitches. And then we're going to knit the two stitches off of our cable needle. So we had reached the, I would say, the peak of our width, the peak width of our diamond. So now we're gonna bring it to the center very slowly. So we did a T4 front, now we're gonna do a cable four back. So with a right hand needle in the front, 
We're going to slip two stitches off. So these two purl stitches are going to become knit stitches because all the cables stitches have all knit stitches. No purling. This is a cable for back. And then we're going to knit four stitches. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to cable four front. So we're slipping these two off and we're going to knit these two purl stitches. So we're still making this inside cable go out. And then we're going to knit the two off the cable needle. And then we're going to T four back. So with the right hand needle in the front, we're going to slip these two purl stitches off onto the cable needle. And then we're going to knit two. And then we're going to purl two off of the cable needle. And then we're going to purl one. And with yarn in front, slip one purl wise. So we're bringing this, these two outside cables are now going to the inside. So I'm going to knit row 10 and then I will be back with row 11, which just has cables, no twists. So I will be back with row 11. All right. So now we're ready for row 11 and this one just has two cables on it. So this is bringing these two, the double diamonds together. So with the yarn in the front, we're going to slip one purl wise, purl three. And then we're going to cable four back. So we're going to hold our right hand needle in the front, slip two stitches off onto our cable needle, and then we're going to knit two stitches. And then we're going to knit the two stitches off of the cable needle. And then we're going to knit eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to cable four front. Well, not back. We're going to cable four front, but still we're bringing these two cables, uh, diamonds together. So with the two stitches in the front, We'll knit two stitches off the left hand needle and then we're going to knit the two stitches off the cable needle. And then we will purl three and slip one purl wise. And then I'm going to knit row 12. And if you haven't noticed already, the there's a, a pattern. So on the odd side rows, uh, on the wrong side, it's all just knit the knits and purl the pearls, except for those two edge stitches. So that makes it pretty easy on every other row. So I will be back with row 13. All right. So we're ready for row 13. Are you ready for row 13? Cause we have a lot of twists on this one. So with the yarn in the front, we're going to slip one purl wise, purl one stitch and table, table twist four back. I don't know why I want to keep saying table twist four back. So we're going to hold our yarn to the front of the work. We're going to slip two stitches into the back. We're going to knit two stitches off of our cable needle or off our left hand needle. And then we're going to purl these two off of the cable needle. And then immediately we're going to twist four front. So we're going to take knit stitches and turn them into purl stitches. So we're going to knit two, or slip two off onto the cable needle. 
and hold them in the front of our work. And then we're going to purl two stitches off of our left hand needle. And we're going to knit two stitches off of our cable needle. And then we're going to knit these four stitches in the middle. And we're going to do the opposite on this side. So kind of like this cable here is back behind now. So we are going to T4B. So we're going to hold our right hand needle in the front of our work, slip two stitches off and hold them in the back, knit two stitches off the left hand needle. And since it's a twist, that means that we're going to have two purl stitches off of the cable needle. So those knit stitches turned into purl stitches. And now we're going to uh, twist four front. So this cable is going to go out to the left one more or two more. So we're going to slip those two knit stitches onto the cable needle. And then we're going to purl these two stitches off the left hand needle. And pull that out so we don't lose those two. And then we're going to knit two stitches off the cable needle. Purl one and with yarn in front, slip one purl wise. So very exciting watching this grow. So I'm going to knit row 14, which is the same as row eight, but you're just knitting your knits, purling your purls. And then I will be back with row 15, which is several more twists. Alrighty, we are ready for row 15. And how pretty is this coming together? looks awesome. So we are getting very familiar with the difference between cables and twists. Um, this row here has four more twists in it, no cables. So with a yarn in front, we're going to slip one purl wise and purl one stitch. We're going to twist four front. So we're going to hold. So we're going to take this and go back to the left here. So we're going to slip two stitches off and hold them in the front, purl two stitches, and then knit two off the cable needle. So the knits stay knit stitches and the purls stay purl stitches. And then we're going to purl two stitches. And then we're going to T4F again. So we're going to move this cable over two stitches also. But these two knit stitches are going to turn into purl stitches. So we're going to slip those two off and we're going to purl two stitches off of the left hand needle. And then we are going to knit these two stitches off the cable needle. Now we're going to do a T4 back. So we're going to take these two knit stitches and slip them off onto the into the back of our work and they'll become purl stitches because we're going to move this cable two to the right. And then we're going to purl two stitches off of the cable needle. And we're going to T four B again. So twist four back. So with the right hand needle in the front. So those are already purl stitches. We're going to slip them off into the back. No, that isn't right. <laughs> we're going to slip those back on because that's just too many purl stitches there. So we're going to purl two and then we're going to T4 back. So we'll hold the right hand needle in the front, slip two off. That looks much better. And then we're going to knit these two, which is the diamond, and we're moving it towards the center. And then we're going to purl these two stitches off of our cable needle. And we're going to purl one and with the yarn in front, slip one purl wise. 
So that is a lot going on there. And look at that, bringing that together. We're almost there. Not too, too much further. So we're going to knit row 16. And then I will be back with row 17. And hopefully, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't lose my voice before I'm done. All right, so that's what it looks like so far. And we are on row 17. Very pretty stitch. So with the yarn in the front, we're gonna slip one purl wise and purl the first three stitches. And then we're gonna T4 front. So we're gonna take this two stitches over and lean to the left. So with our right hand needle in the back, we're gonna slip these two stitches off and hold them in the front. And since it's a twist, we're gonna be purling the two stitches in the back and knitting the two stitches in the front. And then we're gonna purl two stitches. And then we have a T2F. So we're just have two stitches that we're working with instead of four, kind of like we did when we got started on this second cable. Now we're just gonna do that and opposite down here. So we're going to, it's T to F. So we're going to slip one stitch onto the cable needle and hold it at the front of our work. So we'll have our right hand needle in the back. And then we're gonna purl the stitch from the left hand needle. And we're gonna knit the stitch from our cable needle. And then we're going to do the opposite on this next stitch. So it's T to B. So with our right hand needle in the front, we're going to slip one stitch and hold it to the back of our work. We're going to knit one stitch off of our left hand needle and purl one stitch off of our cable needle. So we're just bringing that top one together and we're moving a purl stitch out to the outside edge. So now we're gonna purl two and twist four back. So we're gonna bring this cable two to the right. So with our right hand needle in the front, slip two stitches off hold them in the back, knit, oops, knit two stitches off of the left hand needle. And then we're gonna purl those stitches off the cable needle because it's a twist. And then we're gonna purl three and slip one purl wise. All right, it's coming together very nicely. So I'll knit row 18 and I will be back with row 19. All righty, so we are ready for row 19 and we have a couple of twists, no cables. So this one's gonna be pretty easy. So we're going to, with the yarn in front, slip one purl wise, purl five, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna T four F. So we're gonna slip two stitches. We're gonna move this cable to the left. So slip two stitches and hold them in the front of our work. It's a twist. So we're gonna purl two stitches off the left hand needle. And then we're gonna knit two stitches off of our cable needle. And then we're gonna purl one, knit two, purl one, and then we're gonna cable four back. So we're done twisting and cabling that center diamond. So uh, T4 back. So with a right hand needle in the front, we're gonna slip the two purl stitches off and hold them on to the back of the work. Knit two stitches off your left hand needle and then purl those two stitches off the cable needle. I have to get everything all situated so I don't lose any stitches. 
and then we're going to purl five. So that was an easy row compared to some that we had. So this is row 19, you guys. We have one more row with cables and that's it. So I'm going to knit uh, row 20 and I'll be back with row 21. Alrighty, we are ready for row 21, our last cable row. So this one here actually just has a couple twists in it. So we're bringing the top together. So with the yarn in the front, we're going to slip one purl wise, purl one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to T four front and then T four back side by side. So T four front is with the right hand needle in the back, slip two stitches and hold them in the front, purl two, off your left hand needle, knit two, oops, off your cable needle, and then we're going to T4 back. So with the right hand needle in the front, we're going to slip two stitches off and hold them in the back. We're going to knit two stitches because that's the cable part that you can see. And then we're going to purl two off of the cable needle and then we're going to purl seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With the yarn in front, slip one purl wise. And that is it. That, well, not really. You have three more rows uh, to knit together. Uh, to finish this uh, stitch, but they're all knits and pearls. But how pretty is that? And really not too complicated whenever you see it all come together. Um, so I hope that helped build your confidence in knitting uh, cable stitches. This one was definitely more complicated than any of the stitches that we did, but I do feel like that they all led up to this because we had done all of the stitches except for the, in row one, that those two stitches were definitely different. Um, but other than that, these are all stitches we've done before. We just hadn't seen them in this pattern. So super, super pretty. Um, and this is very wide for a cable. So about six inches, uh, for a headband. So you can call it what it is a messy bun hat or use this thinner yarn to make it to make it narrower. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's stitch and I hope you guys enjoyed this whole series and learned a whole lot from it. And I will see you guys in the next video. This is definitely not my last one. So I will see you guys again later. Thank you guys so much for watching.